Grandpa Bob, can you believe we're here in Whitman, Massachusetts? That's the home of the Toll House Inn where the first chocolate chip cookie was made. I didn't know that. Isn't that exciting? It is, and we've traveled to so many different places now. This is, uh, this is very nice here. Oh, yeah. And you know what? I didn't make chocolate chip cookies. What? <laughs> I made chocolate chip pie. Oh, my. That does look... Oh, I see the chocolate chips in there, too. Oh, yes. And I made a piece for you, Grandpa Bob. Well, you, you know, I, I was just recently looking at a list of all the things that we've had recently. We started out with Russian tea cakes, mm. and then we had chocolate mousse, and then we had chocolate shortbread, and then we had apple pie, <laughs> uh -oh. and then, then we had cheesecake balls, and then we had cheese danish, and now we have chocolate chip pie. I just don't know whether I can keep putting all these calories in. Oh boy, well you know what? I can. <laughs> so I'm going to take a bite, and let's just see how good it is. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love chocolate chip pie. You know what, Grandpa Bob? It's one of the easiest recipes that I have. There are really just two steps to making this chocolate chip pie. It well, looks so good that I think I'm going to have to try it. I'm going to try this bite now and decide whether I can go any further. Oh my goodness. That's heavenly. Do, do I, I have to do this on camera, or can I just eat this without going on camera? <laughs> You're on camera, Grandpa Bob. We have the evidence. I know, but I'm eating. So <laughs> it's nice to see you all again. Bye-bye now. <laughs> Grandpa Bob loved the chocolate chip pie, but will he eat another piece? Let's find out. To make a chocolate chip pie, you'll need a traditional pie crust, one cup of chocolate chips, a teaspoon of vanilla, a cup of sugar, one fourth cup of flour, two eggs, and a stick of butter. The first step to make a chocolate chip pie is to melt your butter. We want to do that first because you want it to cool a little bit so when you put the chocolate chips in they don't all melt. And I also have preheated the oven to 325 degrees. The butter's all melted, so I'm going to set it aside while I put the other ingredients together. You're gonna to be amazed at how easy this is. It's just a matter of dumping it into a bowl, stirring it up, and pouring it into a pie shell. I'll show you. I'm gonna take the two eggs and crack them and put them in a bowl. Next, I'm gonna take a teaspoon of vanilla and put that into the bowl. and I'm gonna beat that up with a fork so that the eggs will be beaten a little bit. Okay, the next thing we put in is one cup of sugar, one fourth cup of flour, And a cup of chocolate chips. Oh boy. <laughs> Grandpa Bob, did you need one? No, no, not, not now. Oh, I'm surprised. Okay. I, I'm being very careful. <laughs> all right. Okay, I'm gonna mix that all up. And by the way, I know some people don't eat raw eggs at all, but the batter is delicious, just to tell you. That looks easy enough that even I could make it. <laughs> now I'm going to put in the butter. And I'll mix that all up. Try to get that butter all absorbed in there. But let me see it again. Okay, hold on. Okay. There it is. Uh, hold it up a little higher. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looking don't, good? Don't make it any closer because I might grab some. <laughs> good idea. If you'd like to add some pecans or other nuts, then uh, you can feel free to do that. I don't particularly care for those in my chocolate chip pie, 
but you are welcome to put those in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pour this into the pie shell. And it's a traditional pie shell, remember? And I'll scrape out the extra in the bowl. Isn't this easy? I'll, I'll take that bowl just in case there's a little bit left in there. <laughs> just a minute, Grandpa Bob. Let's show everybody what this looks like. Wow. And this is what it's like. Wow. Now, we'll put it in the oven at 325. I'm going to check it after 45 minutes and we'll see if it's done yet. Oh, I'm so excited because this is as good as it looks. Wonderful. I baked the pie for about 55 minutes. I checked it every few minutes after the 45 minute mark. It still was jiggly and you want it to be firm. And let me show you, when I move this oven rack, you see how it doesn't jiggle at all? You should be able to do that. And that shows that it's ready. Now we need to let it cool. Grandpa Bob, what do you think? I think it looks magnificent. Only thing is, I, I can't see the chocolate. <laughs> it's hidden inside. It, it's in there, I know. That's right. You'll see it when we cut it open. But we have to let it cool for a while before we can have a bite. But remember that I'm cutting down on desserts since Christmas when we had so many desserts. I'm trying to stop eating so many desserts, so I'll have a real hard fight on this one. <laughs> I have a feeling you might be tempted to try a piece. We'll see. Grandpa Bob, did you eat more pie? Uh-oh, maybe it was Grandma Lou. Not I, I don't eat pie. Oh, all right, I confess. It was great pie. I'm putting the rest in the refrigerator. <laughs>